Securities and Exchange Commission Chairman Gary Gensler expected to speak today with anticipation that he could propose changes to the way that your stock orders are carried out. Reporting from the Wall Street Journal yesterday suggesting that the SEC will require wholesalers to compete amongst each other on orders sent to them by brokerages like Robinhood. But how does all of this affect the bottom line for the brokerages that retail traders are familiar with? Let's bring in Devin Ryan, Director of Financial Technology Research at JMP Securities, a citizen's company. Devin, great to have you on the program this morning. I know that you watch the stocks that are uh, kind of linked to the brokerage industry. How important do you think the changes are as originally reported to the industry when it comes to the bottom line? Hey, Brian, great to be here as always. So, you know, first off, what I would say is that, um, you know, payment forward flow is another topic that um, I I think is getting a lot of attention here over the last few days with potential proposed changes. And and honestly, uh, we need to see more details to have, you know, a a more detailed view here. But um, anything that's going to drive more transparency in the industry and better execution in the industry, I think, should be applauded. But what I would also say is that there's been a lot of initiatives taken even over the past couple of years that are, that are driving in that direction, whether it be on the transparency side, enhanced dic- disclosures on 606 reports, which is where uh, brokerages share uh, the market making uh, data that uh, the, of the partners that they work with on that front, um, or uh, you know, on best execution, where there's been a record level of um, price improvement where retail investors are getting um, even better prices on their execution. And so I, I think we need to be careful what we wish for. You know, market structure is really complicated. And if you change one very small piece of it, it can have ripples through the entire system. And what we've been writing really in, in, over the past couple of years is that um, if you make a big change here, that's going to benefit the biggest firm. So I think perversely, everyone thinks that you change payment forward flow or, or how trades are executed. And that's really bad for firms like Robinhood or Schwab or some of the others. In reality, what that will likely do is push them towards internalizing their own trades. So the scale players have enough flow where they can execute those orders themselves if they have their own market making capabilities. Um, some firms are already doing that, like Fidelity. What it will do is significantly uh, hurt the small brokerages um, that are trying to scale and also uh, deter new firms from coming in and trying to disrupt the existing system. So, you know, I think it'll be interesting to see where we go here. We don't think that payment for order flow will be dramatically affected because I think the SEC uh, understands that making a big change there could have um, you know, some pretty negative ripples through. But But we do think that anything that comes out of this that is related to more transparency, which I think um, would, would help investors feel more confident that the markets are fair or even better execution if there's ways to do that. We think um, that that could be a positive for, for the overall industry. And I think, think people would be supportive of it. Yeah, Devin, let me follow up on that because uh, everything we know so far is based on reports. We haven't heard from Gary Gensler himself just yet. And yet yesterday we saw Robinhood down well over 5%. I mean, you've just made the case that maybe that was a bit of an overreaction. But how do you think investors should be looking at these changes in the context of names like Robin Hood? Sure. Well, uh, the market almost always overreacts. Uh, your payment forward flow in the headlines um, is not a new thing. And if you can go back over the last five years, every time it comes up, um, you tend to see negative reactions in stocks that are uh, highly tied to trading. So it's not surprising. And it's also a very complicated, nuanced topic where you know people, again, immediately react, this, this is a big negative, without thinking through that there's other remedies that these companies can take. In reality, um, there's value to um, to their customer base that they have, and you know all these firms, whether it be the market makers or the brokerage firms or the exchanges, you know they have to make money in some way. And I would argue that the retail investor um, has never had, if you think about the direct and indirect cost of trading, um, a, a better opportunity in the market than than they do today. You know, prices overall, direct and indirect, are probably down seventy five percent. If you think about the cost and the friction in trading just over the past couple of years, so yeah, you know, I do think that when the dust settles here, um, it, it'll be okay for those firms. But um, you know, we've seen this many times where you know market doesn't like uncertainty, and right now there's some uncertainty because we don't know exactly what the proposals entail and, and how that will be executed. The other point is yeah. that to the extent there is a negative normal kind of initial reaction here, if there are remedies for firms like Robinhood or Schwab that, that ultimately could be positive, it'll still take time to, to move those forward. And I think that's another potential risk in the near term. 
Okay, well, I'll be watching for those specifics out of the SEC. Devin Ryan, as always, appreciate your time. Director of Financial Technology Research at JMP Securities, a citizen's company.